Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Energies for your person, the Magician and the Death card. Between you and your person, we have the Queen of Swords. Meeting energies, the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords and the Knight of Wands. The Oracle cards, Happy Happy and Thinker. So guys, extremely active connection between you and this person. For some of you, this individual is a new one, someone that you have recently met. For others of you, this can be a past person, so an ex that can try to convince you guys to give your connection a new chance, but you can be super iffy. If instead we think about the new connection, Trust may not be on point because of the Seven of Swords energy that we got on your side. So I want to say trust issues because maybe you do not exactly like this new person, even if they are constantly trying to basically offer you guys the chance to become more intimate. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. But you can truly be like the figure under the tree in the Four of Cups. So unavailable, not interested, especially if this person is offering you something that we can consider as a casual connection. If we think about the X scenario, guys, this person can try to say that if you agree to get back together, things can be super different and kind of better for the two of you, Death Card, and they are willing to do whatever it takes, the magician, in order to not only win you guys over, but also make you guys think that the connection can be a successful one moving forward. Happy, happy Oracle card. It goes without saying that you can be super iffy about that thinker. I kind of love the Queen of Swords, King of Swords combination of energies because it seems that despite the fact that you may not trust entirely this person in the two scenarios, you will not shy away from an important conversation that can help you guys to make clear to this person that you're not interested in a romantic connection with them at this point of the journey. So the ex may have to give up the expectations in favor of a reconciliation and the new person, the new suitor maybe doesn't really have what it takes to be successful in a romantic connection with you. Maybe they have a reputation, guys, if we follow the Knight of Wands, and if you are the Queen of Wands as someone that can catch a lot of attention, maybe this person has set their eyes on you and they want to get something going together with you. But if you're not interested, it seems that you can handle the situation kinda without any type of sweat. So let's pull more cards. Let's see what we can get. We have the King of Swords for the Four of Cups, Nine of Swords for the Seven of Swords, Five of Wands for the Magician, Six of Cups for the Death card, Page of Swords for the Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups for the King of Swords, and the Death card again for the Knight of Wands. Well, guys, the scenario about the X is already a chapter closed for you. And despite the memories that this person can try to use to their advantage, Six of Cups, the apology that can even be the divine offer that we see in the Four of Cups can fall short because if you resonate with the Queen of Swords, you may offer to the King of Swords a feedback that is not going to be in his favor, basically. Because the past, which can be influenced by the Knight of Wands energy, a player, a cheater, someone that cannot be entirely trusted and so forth, can be a catalyst in order for you to question the opportunity to be successful with these acts moving forward. That's why the Nine of Swords, guys, can be an energy about anxiety because deep within, you may have the opportunity to remember why the connection didn't work the first time. And that's why there can be trust issues because maybe this person comes with a lot of noise, the five of ones, gossip, rumors, competition, 
and possibly this person went behind your back in the past and you may not be willing to forget that. So the Page of Swords can be not only the opportunity to gather knowledge and information, but also the chance for you to handle the interaction in a simple way. You can offer your feedback, Queen of Swords, this person may have to accept an outcome that is not going to be in their favor. And kind of the same thing, guys, can be said about the scenario with a new person. They can try to be nice to you, Six of Cups, the lovely gesture of the kid in favor of the little girl, but this person may come with a reputation, Five of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Magician. It is fair to say that they want you, but you can almost feel uncomfortable in the interaction with this person. And even if they say that you are a wish granted for them, Nine of Cups, you may not feel the same in favor of this person. And so that's why their offer can be turned down by the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands combination of energies. So let's see what should you focus on in a situation like this one. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you may want to build for the future. This is meaningful if we think about the connection with a new person, but you may not trust them enough to open your door in their favor. If we think about an ex, guys, you can receive an apology. Maybe the apology can even be sincere, guys. The problem can be what happened between the two of you in the past. And so that's why you can keep your door closed even when it comes to the ex and their offer to reconcile. Look, Four of Pentacles, on point, even better than my English, closed off for protection, better safe than sorry, cutting our losses. And also the fact that the man in the Four of Pentacles doesn't really want to share the ace. So if this is an ex, they got their chance, they blew it. No more trust, no reconciliation. If this is a new person, it seems that they can play a game. You can be aware of that. And maybe you also know that this person plays the same game with a lot of other people. Knight of Cups. This can be an apology. You can receive it, especially in the X scenario. It can be an invitation if we think about the new person. What can I say to you guys? If you do not feel it, you cannot fake it. And the odds are not in favor of this person in the two scenarios. So let's see what's the obstacle other than the fact that maybe trust is not blessing this interaction. King of Pentacles, some of you do not see commitment in favor of this connection in the two scenarios. Maybe there was commitment if this is an X, but the connection took a turn that was not a positive one. For others of you, maybe there were commitment issues with the X. The Seven of Swords is a deal breaker, guys. Together with the Knight of Wands, even more. However, we want to look at the situation. Star Energy, another wish granted card. You have to be honest with yourself. There is a beautiful star even in the Happy Happy Oracle card. And the star is also a matter of honesty, transparency, vulnerability, trust the willingness to open up in favor of a person completely, the Four of Pentacles and the closed door in the Ace of Pentacles card are not in favor of this connection to move forward successfully. Knight of Pentacles, this can be truly an apology that you can receive, especially in the X scenario. But for me, the Knight of Pentacles can become also the offer that never comes because you are not willing to share anything with this person if we think about an official partnership. And the sun, this is about clarity, guys, in the obstacles. So some of you can realize kind of easily that this person is not the one that you truly want. And as a consequence, if you want a wish or the chance to amplify your inner happiness, you have to take your love away always quoting the Cranberries song Promises if we follow the Knight of Cups. So the ex may have to truly give up their expectations. Uh, the chapter is over in that scenario. And if we think about the new suitor, yes, they may want you guys, but again, if you're not interested, they will have to accept a negative feedback to their offer. 
So let's ask for guidance about this situation. Let's see what we can get. We have the King of Wands. So this is about the necessity to figure things out before you take action, because the King of Wands can be a go-getter, someone that can chase important goals, and also someone that can be quite successful. So if you do not see any value in this connection, despite the fact that the interaction can be active, it is your right to say, look, thank you for the offer, I am not interested, or thank you for the apology, I am not available to consider a reconciliation. And then you can move forward. Page of Cups, another token that can be an apology, and the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Wands, recurrent energy. So. The fact that this person can bring a touch of turmoil to the interaction with you because at the end of the day, you cannot completely trust them can make you guys feel stuck a little bit, Eight of Swords. But again, don't sweat. Summon the Queen of Swords, summon the Queen of Wands, two energies that can serve you guys well if we think about a healthy self-confidence and the courage to speak your mind in a powerful way. The way out for the lady in the Eight of Swords is represented by the water, feelings and emotions, and also your intuition. And so if you do not like the vibes that this connection can offer to you because of the Five of Wands, the Knight of Wands, or the past that can be about the ex, you are free to say, look, I am sorry, but, Page of Cups, I am not available to move this connection forward in a way that can be deeper, you know, more intimate, and this person will have to accept your decision. It goes without saying, because you will have the opportunity to make clear the fact that you do not feel the connection anymore if this is an ex, or you do not feel it enough, let's say, if this is a new person. And they will have to live with that. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.